How's it going guys? Cody guys, back again dropping yet another video. Right, as you can see from the title of this vlog, this video, it's going to be on Tommy Robinson being moved from HMP Hull to HMP Leicester. Now I don't know that much about HMP Leicester guys to be truthfully honest with you. So what I've done, I've had a read of their Wikipedia page and stuff and uh, Inside Times and it states that HMP Leicester is a Victorian prison on a three acre site close to the city centre. The main residential unit is a large four-storey Victorian building. Level 1 includes a first night centre and segregation unit. Level 2 contains a vulnerable prisoners unit. Vulnerable prisoners, guys, for those that don't know, are people that go on to protection. Uh, you've got paedophiles, rapists, kiddie fiddlers, child murderers, etc, etc. Uh, a substance misuse unit and also prisoners with mobility difficulties. Remaining sections of the floors and levels 3s and 4s house mainstream or general population prisoners including an area for enhanced prisoners hmp leicester aka welford road or welford road prison or welford prison is a cat b prison run by her majesty's prison service it's a local prison and it houses approximately 400 plus prisoners um now like i say i'm i'm not an expert on tommy robinson guys i don't claim to be um obviously i know who tommy is um, and the support that he's been getting um, has been absolutely unbelievable for those that back his words and stuff and believe in what he's saying. Like I say, um, him highlighting about these Asian grooming gangs and stuff. And um, I don't think Tommy's actually racist per se, because like I say, he had four Muslims at his wedding. So if you don't, if you don't like um, a race or a religion, obviously people are going to say Islam isn't a religion. It's uh, sorry, it isn't um, a race. It's an ideology and stuff. Um, but the thing is, I know we're prison guys, right? Now, like I say, um, the government are trying to get Tommy Robinson killed. It's as simple as that. Now, I've even addressed that up, right? You, Tommy Robinson has been moved from HMP Hall, which is a relatively classed as a safe prison. Obviously, every prison has its problems with violence and stuff. We're seeing record numbers of assaults and self-harm, guys, year on year. Um, but um, HMP Hall, was, Tommy was a safe, right? They've now moved them to HMP Leicester. This is the thing you need to know, right? And I've just, I've read this tweet and stuff, right? And it, it's come from an official source. The decision to move Tommy Robinson from a relatively safe prison, obviously HMP Hall, to a highly unsafe one, uh, HMP Leicester, came from ho the Home Office, from Britain's new Home Secretary. Yes, guys, you guessed it. A Muslim by the name of Sajid Javid. Right, the MP for Bromgrove. Yeah, you can have a look at the start, the Bromsgrove. It's at the start, guys. He's the no home secretary. Now, don't you think it's amazing, guys, that Tommy Robinson, who is against these paedophile grooming gangs and obviously rips apart what the Quran states and everything and Prophet Muhammad and Allah and all this stuff, right, about paedophilia and like all this sort of stuff that goes on and on. We we know what's going on, guys. We know what's said and what Tommy says, right? Don't you find it amazing that the new Home, sorry, yeah, the new Home Secretary, right, it's come from the Home Office, from the new Home Secretary, a Muslim, Sajid Javid, right, don't you find it amazing, guys, he's called for him, and he's moved him into that prison, now, according to reports online, uh, HMP Leicester has a 71% has a plus migrant um, capacity, like 71% of prisoners at that prison are actually from abroad, now, the thing is, a lot of people keep saying, oh, Tommy will be in the segregation unit, Tommy will be on protection. Now, if you look at Tommy Robinson, right, I don't know Tommy, right, like I say, but he comes across very ballsy. Now, if he goes on protection, yes, they could put him in the segregation unit, but Tommy's a ballsy kid. He goes and confronts these people at court. He turns up with himself and a camera, might have a few other people with him, but from what you see, there's, only, there's normally Tommy and one or two others against gangs he got attacked outside mcdonald's by these um anti-fascists and stuff he stood up he had it so being dropped in prison and stuff right obviously it's a very dangerous place prisons are lawless guys yeah prisons are very 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 dangerous places i just did a vlog the other day about a prisoner being murdered it goes on guys prisons are more lawless than on the streets guys prisoners don't give a shit tommy robinson will have a price on his head and anyone that seen to get to him and stuff like that Honestly, there'll be a price on his head and he will be attacked and stuff. Now, apparently, they was banging on the cells last night, shouting they was going to get him and stuff, and Tommy's in fear for his life. Now, all them signs point to the fact that Tommy Robinson 
is in general population. Now, if he goes on, to, say, say he goes on to protection, they could put him in the segregation unit, right, for his own safety. But again, like I've alluded to, I class Tommy as a ballsy kid. Or, like I said, they could put him on the VP wing, the vulnerable prisoners wing, with kitty fiddlers, rapists, nonsense, or the, the others that are on the numbers, right? Protection, as we call it, in prison. But there's there's an element of em embarrassment and shame going on the numbers because it's the coward's way out. So, for me, I believe that Tommy Robinson will be in general population. Um, with, with a migrant, uh, like with 71% of the um, prisoners being from... Um, from abroad, from obviously, uh, what's the word, what's the word, what's the word, from like 71% um, are like migrants and stuff, right, so obviously, I couldn't get my words out then, sorry guys, so 71% are from abroad, so the thing is, if they put him on the protection wing, right, there could be Asian grooming gangs that Tommy's covered, he'd be targeted, right, remember, grooming gangs, that's the key word, gangs, right, they don't put one in one prison, one in another prison, one in another prison, they just ship them and stuff, and then they get put, and they go here, then they go everywhere, and like I say, if they're on protection, they can go, they, they, they can do the, they can go to all the different uh, prisons and stuff, but you get grooming gangs, Muslims, on each wing, radicalization and stuff, and Muslims are, is, Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world, it's, um, you've got, you've got white people that convert to Islam, you've got, obviously, You've got, I've seen black people that have converted to Islam or revert as Muslims say because they believe everyone's born a Muslim and comes back to the religion. Um, the truth is, doesn't matter where Tommy goes, he's in, he's in extreme danger. But to put him for the Home Office, Home Secretary, right, this Sajid Javid, to put Tommy Robinson in a prison with a 71% um, where the prisoners are 71% from abroad, Tommy's in extreme danger, guys. I, I'll be honest with you. I, Give it. I, I, they're putting Tommy there, and they're doing it on de deliberately so that Tommy Robinson gets murdered in prison. And if he does, I'll tell you straight, there'll be an uproar. If you put any prison, you put Tommy Robinson in the racial tension, um, because obviously people are going to say, "Oh, Islam's not a religion; it's an ideology." We know all that, right? But for the most part, Muslims are Asian. Right now, if you put Tommy Robinson in there, Tommy will have a lot of supporters. Don't get me wrong. I've been in prison with people that are racially high. Um, like they, they've got to be put in their own cell because they're racially high. If they was put in with a black inmate or a Muslim or an Asian, sorry, they, they would attack them. And I've also there's Asians that would be that would attack white guys and black guys. And I've seen black guys that, that were put on racially high because they would attack white people and Muslims. Uh, it's prison guys, like I say, lawless, lawless place. Uh, the fact is, but by putting Tommy Robinson. In in there they're trying to snuff him out guys whether you like Tommy Robinson or you despise him the fact is because of his thoughts and stuff like that he shouldn't be killed in prison but I'm sorry I, I've toned down my opinions guys over the past few years and stuff like that because like I say we're a, bad, we're a diverse country and everything but the country's gone to the dogs absolutely now like I say t by sentencing Tommy Robinson to 13 months in prison in my opinion they signed Tommy, War uh, Tommy Robinson's uh, death warrant it's as simple as that I don't think Tommy Robinson will survive I've seen videos where Tommy Robinson, they're taking him off YouTube, they're trying to take him off Twitter, they're silencing him stuff, guys. The, the media uh, uh, the media and stuff like that, the hypocrisy within the media and stuff, they've all got agendas, guys. It's all, the whole system, guys, is, is corrupt and flawed. Now, like I say, Tommy Robinson, what do you think, guys? I'm interested to know what you guys think. I, I Like I say, what do I know? I'm coming at it from a former prisoner's perspective. I'm coming at it from the fact that Tommy Robinson's been dropped in a prison with a 71% um, of the inmates are migrants, right? It sounds like the fact that he was banging on the doors and threatening him, like I say, that could be in the segregation unit, could be on the VP wing, could be in the general population. Tommy strikes me as a very, very ballsy guy. So I would put, I, I personally believe he's in general population. Um, that pride could end up with him paying for his life. Like I say, there'll be violence kicking off within that prison because you'll have supporters of Tommy Robinson. You'll have people that want to kill Tommy Robinson. Um, and prison's a very paranoid, very violent place anyway, guys. It's like a vortex of, of like I say, paranoia, frustration, anger. Um, now, from what I've seen, they get out, they get unlocked at about 20 to 8 in the morning. Normally get about half an hour to get their breakfast. Then they'll be allowed out for dinner. And then in the evening, they're allowed out from 6 o'clock till 10 past 7. Um, and then you'll, they'll also have exercise as well. So you probably get 45 minutes to an hour on exercise, half an hour in the morning for breakfast, half an hour for, for, for the dinner, half an hour for the tea. Or when they open them for tea, they'll leave them out and then they'll get till 10 past 7. And then it's lock up till the next day and they go again. But 
like I say, Tommy Robinson, the government are trying to kill him. The Home Office are trying to kill him. This new, um, the new Home Secretary, Sajid Javid, he's obviously, as a Muslim, isn't it convenient, guys? A Muslim, uh, a Muslim that's in charge of the Home Office, the new Home Secretary, has put Tommy Robinson, the orders come from the top, to put Tommy Robinson in a prison where 71% of the inmates are from, um, from abroad. He's going to be murdered, guys. It's as simple as that. So don't be surprised. If there is, there'll be an absolute uproar. Uh, there's a lot of people, obviously, to free Tommy Robinson and all this. I'm just coming at it from a prisoner's perspective, guys. Like I say, whether what whether Tommy's thoughts are what I agree with or not, that's a different matter. Um, but I I feel very much so. Uh, I feel Tommy, Tommy Robinson is in extreme danger, guys. Of all the prisons, it's almost as if the Home Secretary's gone. You've looked through the, the, the demographics of all the different prisons and said, right... 71% are migrants, stick him in there. Send him to the wolves. And like I say, Muslims speak, uh, with everyone, a lot of people in prison have got mobile phones, guys, and stuff. Very easy where prisoners can talk and talk and talk. You've got encrypted um, messaging devices and stuff and apps and stuff. And like I say, people know people know people. Muslims live in segregated communities for the most part. Like I say, you've got any prisoner, you've got like people like, um, what's he called? And Jem Chowdhury and stuff like that. All these people and stuff, they, they'll all talk. And like I say, the aim is will be to kill Tommy Robinson. If they kill Tommy Robinson, it will be seen as a huge, huge success for them. Like I say, they'll be absolute for raw with those of the far right that, that that support Tommy Robinson and stuff if he's murdered in prison. And those opposing them anti-fascists and stuff like that and these Muslims and Muslim extremists and stuff, they, they will cheer and stuff like that because... But there's a price on Tommy Robinson's head. Uh, I think he'll pay for his life. I think his, his 13 month sentence is just a death sentence, guys. It's as simple as that. Uh, prisoners are very conniving, very underhanded. They're ingenious at making weapons and stuff. There's many different opportunities and stuff. Even the screws, the screws will be, if the, if the screws are a, a, a Muslim or like converts to Islam, they, they'll, they'll think a certain way about Tommy Robinson and about how he rips the, the Quran to shreds, about what it preaches and stuff. And then you'll have those on the other side that will actually screws that would defend Tommy Robinson. But you've got to know that, I think the, the, the approximate capacity is about 400 and plus at HMP Leicester, AKA Welford prison. Um, but like I say, the, 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 rate, the tension within that prison will be at an all time high. Uh, they could put Tommy on the ghost train and stuff where he keeps getting moved about, moved about, moved about, moved about. But the truth is, I think they're gonna leave him in this prison. They've looked at the demographics of the prison, the home office and this new home secretary, Sajid Javid, uh, and he's obviously sent Tommy Robinson there to be murdered. Silenced, murdered. And there'll be an absolute fucking furore if that happens and stuff. What do you know, guys? Like I say, I'm not an expert on it. I'm coming at it from a prisoner's perspective, looking at solely prison issues. I look like a Muslim with my beard. So, yeah, uh, let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about Tommy Robinson being moved to, to this prison with a 71% migrant population. Um... For Tommy Robinson, whilst he's in that prison, um, normally you talk about ethnic minorities being from abroad and stuff. Uh, the 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 truth is they're outpopulated in uh, Leicester prison and stuff. And like I say, Tommy's very outspoken. He's very ballsy. I think he'll be in general population. But again, do you know different? Do you know he's in the seg? Do you know he's on VP wing? Let me know what you think about the video, guys. Like I say, I'm not an expert. I don't claim to be an expert. I'm talking at it from a prisoner's perspective. And the truth is, his life is in mortal danger. On that note, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, put your comments in the comment section below. Speak to you all soon.